On average, the resting adult takes about 12 breaths every single minute. Now, this number can greatly increase if the individual is undergoing some type of strenuous activity, for example, running or swimming. Now, for that same resting individual, the lungs are capable of exchanging about 500 milliliters of volume of air every single breath. So this is known as the tidal volume and we'll talk about what the tidal volume is and how it's measured in the next several lectures. Now, if we take the number of breaths that are made by the resting individual every single minute and we multiply it by the tidal volume, the amount of volume that is exchanged by the lungs every, sing <clears throat> every single breath and we multiply these two values, we get 6,000 milliliters or 6 liters. And this describes the total volume of air that is exchanged by the lungs every single minute. So if we wait a minute, our lungs exchange six liters of air. Now the question is, how many molecules are found within six liters of air, assuming we're at room temperature and at atmosphere pressure? So how many molecules does this represent at room temperature at a temperature of about 21 degrees Celsius and a pressure of about one atmosphere pressure, one ATM? So to calculate the number of molecules exchanged by the lungs every single minute, we have to calculate the number of moles of air that is exchanged and to calculate the moles we can use the ideal gas law so n is equal to where n is our number of moles is equal to the pressure in atm multiplied by the volume in liters divided by the gas constant r multiplied by the temperature given to us in kelvins now the pressure we're assuming is 1 atm the volume we uh, we calculated to be 6 liters the ideal gas law is 0 0.02 uh, 0 0.0821 atm times liters divided by kelvin times mole and the temperature in kelvin is equal to 21 plus 273 and that gives us about 294 kelvins now if we multiply and divide we get about 0 0.25 moles now this is the number of moles and we know inside one mole we have avogadro number of molecules and so to find number of molecules we take this many moles multiplied by Avogadro's number 6.02 times 10 to 23 molecules per mole the moles cancel and we're left with about 1.51 times 10 to the 23 molecules so this is the number of molecules that are exchanged by our lungs every single minute assuming that the individual is at rest now, what's the point of calculating this value? Well, it was basically to show you that our lungs are capable of exchanging a great number of different molecules. And although most of these molecules are oxygen and nitrogen molecules, a good portion of these are actually harmful particles, such as pollutants, contaminants, allergens. They can also be viruses and bacterial cells. And this can cause a problem because our lungs creates a barrier, a boundary between the outside and the internal environment and so in order to ensure that none of these harmful things actually end up inside our body and cause harm to our body the lungs have to have some type of protective capability and this is what we're going to focus on in our, uh, in this lecture so our lungs have several important methods by which they can actually protect themselves from these different types of agents that enter our body when we breathe in air.
So number one is mucous membrane. So inside our passageways, we basically have specialized types of cells known as goblet cells. And these goblet cells can produce and secrete a special type of sticky and slimy uh, material or substance that essentially forms the mucous membrane. And this mucin, uh, mucous membrane essentially lies, uh, lines our passageways. And when we breathe in the air, these harmful agents and harmful things, as they travel through the, uh, with the air, they can essentially get stuck inside this mucous membrane. And if we move on to number two, we also have these hair-like structures that can essentially move in a wave-like fashion that are found along the cells that line our passageways. And as these cilia actually move in a wave-like fashion, they can actually move those harmful things that get stuck inside the mucus. They can move these things back out into our larynx. And within the larynx, they can either go into the esophagus and into our stomach where the acidity will kill that harmful thing or they can be expelled via the process of spitting. So once again, mucous membrane within the trachea, the bronchi and the bronchioles as well as within our nasal cavity, we have specialized cells called goblet cells. So these cells secrete a substance that forms a very sticky and slimy uh, mucous membrane along the passageways uh, with which, with when, uh, within which our air actually moves. Now, when harmful particles and agents move with the, uh, with the air, they can get stuck within this mucous membrane. And the mucous membrane, as I mentioned earlier, is also found within our nasal cavity of the nose. Now, we also have tiny hair-like structures found along the cells lining the airways, and these can help carry the pollutants to our pharynx. So if we take a look at the diagram of our, our respiratory system, this is our trachea, these are the bronchi, these are our bronchioles, and if we zoom in on the terminal portion of our uh, uh, bronchioles, we get our alveolar, and we'll see how the alveolar also helps us protect from these pollutants in just a moment. Now, this is our larynx. It's the it's the voice box, and the larynx con uh, connects our trachea to the pharynx, which is found right here. And the pharynx basically is the connection point between the esophagus, our mouth, as well as our larynx. So the cilia can move the pathogens along our trachea and ultimately those pathogens end up in our pharynx. And then those pathogens either can be swallowed through our esophagus and end up in our highly acidic and highly deadly environment inside our stomach, which can ultimately kill off that pathogen, or we can expel that pathogen or harmful substance via the process of spitting. Now, inside the nasal cavity, we also have actual tiny hairs. And what these hairs actually do is they can help trap our dust particles and other particles inside the nasal cavity before it actually goes into our lungs. Now, if we check out this structure, which are basically these sac-like structures where gas exchange actually takes place within the alveoli of our lungs, we have specialized immune cells known as the alveolar macrophages. And these are specialized cells that can engulf and digest any harmful agent and substance that the cell actually comes across. Now, we also have something called airway constriction. So if we examine our air passageways, we have trachea, we have the bronchi, we have these bronchioles. These are lined with our muscles and these muscles can actually constrict. And when they, and when they constrict, they create a more narrow system of canals and that basically decreases the likelihood that our contaminant or harmful substance will pass into our body via our alveolar. So 
Uh, the air passageways of the lungs contain rings of muscle. When the passageways are irritated by, let's say, some type of allergen, these muscles can constrict. Now, although this does make the airway more narrow and this decreases the likelihood that our pathogen will actually end up in our lungs and in our body, specifically in the alveoli of our lungs, it also actually has a bad effect because because if we constrict, if we narrow in our passageways, that will make it very difficult for us to actually breathe. Now, the most common uh, protective capability that you're probably familiar with is the process of coughing. And this is the process by which some type of irritant, when it gets into our lungs, into our passageway, it causes this reflex we call coughing. And that expels that irritant as, uh, along with all the other things that are stuck within the mucous membrane very quickly to the outside of uh, our body. So these are the six different methods by which our lungs basically protect themselves and our body from these harmful agents and harmful pathogens.